They might not be your usual golem feet, but they seem highly motivated. Yes? I need clay to mould something. There's lots of it just outside the town. Could you please let me through? Aye. That would really suit you, wouldn't it? Uh, yes. But we're not going to let you through. Could you maybe pass me a lump of clay through the barricade, then? What do we get in return? Are you doing deals with the enemy? We don't make deals with dirty capitalists. That's more like it. I don't want the clay for myself. I want to use it to support your cause. How's that? If you give me just a few handfuls of clay, I could really improve the barricade. Really? Sure. I can smear the clay between the boards from here and the sunlight would bake it hard as rock. I think that sounds pretty good. The barricade is stable enough already. The spirit of friendship built it and the chains of suppression are holding it together. But there are holes everywhere here which need to be sealed. Magic could seep through the little gaps or, or gas or something like that. Hmm, perhaps you're right, but I still don't trust you. I am one of you. This pin here should be proof enough. Hmm, in principle, but perhaps you took it from one of our people under duress. No, I, um, earned it, fair and square. I'm almost convinced. Show me our secret hand sign and we'll give you the clay. Um... Oh! Psst! I think I saw the town guard. Better not right now. Aye. Come back when the coast is clear. Uh, uh, hello? Is anyone there? You bet there is. <laughs> Why are you locked up? They want me out of the way. I know too much. But they don't just lock people up for being intelligent. They do if you know the wrong things. We are being watched. By whom? They are watching us. Who are they? The wizards? Them. The ones watching us. They're out there. Sloth, the inn's landlord, said you were arrested because you didn't want to let Mr. Shieldhand search you. And why should I? I haven't done anything wrong. He knew I was one of the protesters. He just wanted an excuse to lock me up. If you're one of the protesters, then you'd have to know this secret hand signal, right? Yeah. Can you show it to me? Ha! So you can tell them what it is. No! I need it, and I'm one of you. Then you must know the signal yourself. Um, of course I do. Yeah? Then do it for me. Do the secret signal. No problem, but you first. What's all that about? I don't know if you're one of us. Besides, you've been in prison for quite a while, and maybe they brainwashed you. Hmm, all right. Now you. You are one of us. Is that really you, X? Yeah. Do the signal.
Okay, then. How long have you been in prison? A few days. But I suspect they'll never let me out. I'm a political prisoner. They want to silence me. Tell everyone. The truth is out there. Here? In Seastone? Uh, yes. Probably. My name is Wilbur Weathervane. Who are you? Wilbur Weathervane? Good alias. Call me Mr. X. My friends call me X. X? Strange name. Still, better than goalpost head, I guess. Well then, uh, I have to be going. Take care of yourself, brother. Yes? Me again. Do the secret sign. Fine then. Aye, spot on. I guess you really are one of us. That's what I told you. Here, take these. You can hang them up in the upper town. Posters? I'm really more interested in the clay. Yeah, yeah. Here's some clay as well. May this clod of pure earth serve the good cause. Oh, it will. So then this hole... That should keep out any poison gas. The rest of the clay is for the golem head. Hmm, right then. How should my golem look? Oh yeah, that's the way I like it. Do it. The eyes, yeah. Oh, the nose. Mmm. Oh, that's tricky. And of course, not to forget the mouth opening. That's it. Perfect. Should Block and Van Buren manage to fire me, I think I'll turn sculptor or golem head designer. Usually citizens and visitors to the inn warm up by the fireplace on cold nights. Paper, wood, everything's here, except for someone looking to warm up. A small fire spell can't hurt. Ignifaxius Ignisfero. I'm pretty sure that clay sculptures aren't usually baked this way. But hey. This is innovation. Well then, take... The knight doesn't seem to have legs anymore. 
but he does have two strong arms of stone that any golem would be happy to have. Good night. Without a chisel or something like that, I'll never get the arms off cleanly. I don't want to destroy them. Hello? Shh, what are you? Do you really think you'll be in there, Lop? They certainly won't let me go before the elections. That Van Buren wants to show her strength, and it's anybody's guess what'll happen afterwards. Either way, I'm not gonna wait until some court passes judgment on me. I'll escape as soon as I have the chance. Well then, uh, I take care. Hello, Bill. Wilma. I have to be gone. See ya. chisel? Yes. I might have the right hammer for it. Really? That'd be good. Yes, but... Hey, what type of hammer? Just a hammer. Oh, but there's a whole range of them. I lived with the dwarves for a long time and learned quite a bit about hammer technology. You could have a dwarven steel head hammer, a common round head hammer, a war hammer, an MC hammer. A dwarven steel head hammer? Yeah, left or right handed. I, I just want to knock a few stones out of the wall. Out of this wall? What kind of chisel have you got? When was it made? Oh, what type of alloy did they use? I don't know. Hammer and chisel have to be perfectly matched, you see. If they're not, well, things can get pretty ugly. Really? Incorrect chiseling could cause the entire building to fall down. And what good is a hole in the wall if you're buried under tons of rock? But I don't know what kind of chisel it is. <sighs> That's why you should always work with professionals. Give me the chisel, and I'll look for the right hammer. Oh, thanks. Well then, uh, I have to be going. Take care of yourself, brother. Okay, troll spit isn't as sticky as troll snot, but maybe it'll do as a substitute for paste. So... Mr. Shieldhand? Mr. Professor.
What's the story behind that statue? That's the Black Knight. He serves as an inspiration for young soldiers of the town guard. He's supposed to motivate them to fight bravely to the last drop of blood. Who was he? No one knows. He was mangled when he was found, but he still had the lust for battle in his eyes. There's a protest poster on the notice board over there. So? It's against Council Leader Van Buren. What filth? That's vandalism of the worst kind. Sorry, old friend. Oh, he still looks ready to fight. And now the golem's body is finished. All that is missing is a spell written with magic ink for its mouth. Hello? What is the access code? The code is 46941. Correct. Um, then shouldn't you be opening right about now? I don't know your voice. Headmaster Block hasn't introduced you to me. But I have the code. I have a dual level security system. The correct code must be delivered in the voice of a teacher whom I know. That would have been too easy. I, um... <clears throat> it's me, Headmaster Block. I may not have the power of sight, but I do have an exceptional pair of ears. You are not Headmaster Block. Huh. The door won't be fooled so easily. The code has to be spoken in Headmaster Block's voice. That is a bit of a problem. What can I do for you? Can you imitate voices? I can imitate the call of more than 17 birds. I'm more interested in human voices. I am sorry. I only have one voice at my disposal. A very pretty voice. Oh, uh, of, of course. I can, however, record speech. Record speech? What do you mean? Record speech? What do you mean? Fantastic! Fantastic! OK, you, you, you can stop now. How does this recording thing work? I can record all of your conversations. If desired, I can play back only certain parts of the recording. You mean that if I can somehow get the headmaster to say 4, 60, 9 and 41 in conversation, you could repeat those numbers in his voice? Correct. Excellent. I might have some more questions. And I might... As soon as I have time, I might see if some of these books actually belong in the library. Then again, I'd say they're more likely notes from former teachers and learning materials. And what's this? Oh, a class photograph for a while photography was very fashionable. 
A sorcerer unveiled these little devices which could take detailed pictures of the real world. However, it turned out that small demons inside the cameras were responsible for painting the pictures. They stole a piece of soul from those photographed. Photography quickly went out of fashion. One of the first clues that demons were in the cameras was that those photographed made strange grimaces they would never make in reality. A number of the students in this photo look more than odd. The graduating class of 1462 is written in ornate script above the image. The Archmage sniffing about in the office of one of his political opponents. Wouldn't be good if word got out. A first rate scandal. But what about a teacher looking for a form in the staff room? A teacher who is in the school because the headmaster has given him tasks to be done. <laughs> Normally I would try to discourage you. But the Archmage is visiting the school tomorrow. If his opponents are planning something, we have to expose them tonight. I'll do it. I'll have a look around and get back to you if I discover anything. All right, but be careful, Wilbur. Then let's not waste any time. I'll build a golem bodyguard for the Archmage and have a look around the headmaster's office. Good idea. And let me know as soon as you find anything peculiar. No heroics, Wilbur Weatherman. I'll be careful. I'll go back underground. I want to find out about the dark magic the Archmage has been sensing for days. Good luck. You and Van Buren will not succeed with your plan. You may have great and powerful friends, but the Archmage has small and cleverer ones. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>